shot. Go ahead, let's hear it. Once upon a time, there was a whale. What kind of a whale? <laughs> what kind of a whale? You see, that's what I mean. You gotta keep your mouth shut. You ain't got oh. nothing to say in this. Well, all right, no, it's not you a problem. You don't have to ask me what kind of whale it is because I don't know what kind of whale it was. All right, let's forget about it. How do I know what kind of whale it is? Don't shout now. What do you think I do? Belong to whale gang or something? I know the whale. I a whale? All right. I asked you to keep your mouth shut, didn't I? Go ahead. Well, keep it shut. Now, this whale was in the ocean. What ocean? This ocean. What ocean? I think the folks would like to know where this took place, don't you think? Go ahead, pick out ocean, what I care. That's immaterial to me. All right, immaterial ocean. Oh, what kind of ocean? Now, the whale was in the immaterial ocean. It was minus own business, but it was following a ship. What ship? This ship. What ship? <laughs> what ship? I told you, you don't say nothing in the story. I do the whole story by myself. You're telling it, but I just... But you keep opening your mouth, now keep it shut. I only asked you what kind of a ship. A ship, a plain everyday ship that swims in the water. You mean a swim ship? Yeah. <laughs> now, the whale was following a swim ship because... Who ever heard of a swim ship? I don't know, Lou. That's your Will story. You please keep your mouth shut, will you please? All right, go ahead. You're getting me aggravated now. Take it easy, take it easy. Go ahead. Now, the ship was following the whale what? because... Now I got the ship following the, the whale. whale was following the, ship. <laughs> the whale was following the ship yeah. because the whale was hungry. Naturally. Now, Captain Jonah was the captain of the boat, and he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Do I? He didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Capsize. So he, he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Capsize. So he... he, he because you know what capsize means. I don't put in big words like that if I don't know what it means. Plus, I know what it means. He didn't want the whale to cap mean? capsize. Capsize. That's a big word. Well, what does it mean? Good one. Well, what does it mean? I present this video on the 9th of May, as a tribute to the 94th year of Mr. Gann's 1927 novel, The Tunnel Through the Air. 94, also being Alistair Crowley's Thelma greeting of 93, and 93 over 93. 93 divide 93 equals 1. Therefore 93, plus 1 equals 94. Take a Freemason's compass of 47 degrees, and times it by 2, equals 94. It can even be seen on the front cover of Luther Jensen's book, Astro Cycles and Speculative Markets. We all know that page 69 of The Tunnel Through the Air, is an obvious standout throughout the book. As is the Jonah story a favorite of so many esoteric works. It is easy reading, and has so many obvious clues. But Gan, through the hero Robert Gordon is not going to give too much away here for free at face value. You need to work hard to earn it, know how he thinks, and his secret word cipher. There are so many layers interconnecting other things. Here on page 69 he kind of makes it really easy, depending on how far you have got through his work and the nuances. One problem is the battle with your own cognitive dissonance, or prior beliefs that have you thinking you have already found it. But in reality, there is much more to it. All the clues are there in typical Gan style. His cherry picking of Bible verses, and his subtlety correcting them, continually reinforced by the additional confluence of clues and evidence. Why was Jonah also written as Jonas? Does it matter? With all his misadventures, why was this bumbling fool such a great prophet? Why was he fleeing God? Where would be the best place for Jonah to hide from God? you need to work through the many permutations. In his usual way, many of the concepts work well, and should not be dismissed. So often Gan sets up a critical clue in his final words on the subject. In his last statement on Jonah on page 69, he says, I believe there was a secret meaning in what he said. That the Son of Man be three days, and three nights in the heart of the earth. I believe that a man who understands the meaning of that is all the power under heaven and earth, as the Bible says he shall have. I believe that that is the key to the interpretation of the future. It is critical you ponder this esoteric fact. The Son of Man is Jesus Christ. A.K.A. the Jeweled Crown. But here, so was Jonah called the Son of Man. Who, what, and where is Jonah in the annual zodiac and calendar? And what is meant by the use of three days and three nights? Additionally, this also supports the correct birth date of Jesus on 11th September 2nd BC. Look at this date on an ephemeris you may understand. Did you notice Gan's text error? The double that in the last line, alerting you to look closer. 
I am not going to tell you how all this is calculated. But I will give you examples of the results, and the means to use them for yourselves. The simple message is it is a 412 day cycle from 14th June to the 31st July. Divided this range by 16 equal portions. Even the GAN gurus using free stock chart should be able to do this. Or 14th June of any year plus 412 days. Plus multiples of additional 365 days. Dividing the cycle by harmonics of 8, 16, or 32. Also keeping cycle anchor A at 14th June, extend anchor B over the price chart where, price breaks the tunnel through the air, air nodes, significant tunnel dates, or highs and lows and add or subtract 3 days. Then look back to all the clues GAN gives for additional ways or ratios to divide this cycle period. Here, overlaid on the chart are the results derived from GAN's version of Matthew 12. 28, 29, and 30. Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The gematria values of each line are calculated from Gan's secret Bible cipher. Then calculated as a percentage of the total summation of the cycle. Midpoints or second harmonic points are also added. Note how the cycle ratio divisions react to the tunnel through the air lines connected by price within an air sign. This is, the law of vibration, and harmonic division of cycles of mass human behavior. 